welcome to the channel. This is Meredith and I have my July 2021 BoxyCharm to unbox with you. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, stay tuned. If you're new here, what I do on the channel is I do unboxings and I also give you some very honest feedback about what I feel about my boxes, etc. And then I also do some spoilers and I research the products for you so you can make an informed decision going forward about whether or not you want to continue getting the box. I also do skincare reviews and I'm starting to work on some daily life in New York City content just as an average person. Um, so if any of that interests you, definitely stay tuned and consider subscribing. So today is not my date for filming. It is very loud here, um, so I apologize in advance. This is like the 80th time that I'm refilming this because my camera keeps dying. Um, so I don't know how much content I'm going to be able to pull out of it. Um, so I have already um, cut open the box, but I haven't done very much past that because the um, video stopped filming. Um, so this is the base box. I don't remember if I mentioned that. So this is the base box. It's five full-size items. It's $25 per month. A BoxyCharm does send this to me, but my agreement with them is to post on Instagram stories. So if you're interested in seeing what content I post over there, definitely head over to Eat to Stretch Explore on Instagram, and you can follow me over there to see like food content and stuff like that. This YouTube video is not part of my agreement with BoxyCharm, um, so even if it was, I would still be honest with you, so just throwing that out there so that all of the information is available. Um, so this again is $25 per month and this is what is in my box this month. There was no um, filler or anything in here, no, no bubble wrap or anything like that. Um, according to my FedEx app, it was 1.57 pounds, so if you're interested, that is the info there. Um, so this card here is just to remind me to tell you that I get this for free. And then this is the theme this month, it's called Fantasy, so it's kind of cute but kind of cheesy. Um, it looks like it's like a pink theme, I don't know if anything in here is going to be all pink. Um, from some of the spoilers I've seen, I'm going to say it's a little bit iffy for me about whether or not I'm going to like this box. Um, so the code here is 2107, so 2021 um, July, and then 009-BA, so if you're interested, that is it, and again, 1.57 pounds. Um, so I'm going to go through, give you the information from the card, any information that's pertinent from the box, etc. Um, so let me just try to go through here really quickly with you. Um, this is the first product, and this is from Pharmacy. It's the Whipped Greens Oil-Free Foaming Cleanser. It's an oil-free foaming cleanser that draws out dirt, oil, and impurities caused by pollution. The soap-free pH balanced formula is infused with purifying moringa, papaya, and green clay to help clean pores and surface residue, while sodium PCA helps replenish skin hydration. Um, so this has a retail value of $28, so I'll put all the information on the screen for you, and then I'll do the calculation at the end um, to tell you what the overall value is. Um, so actually I do like um, pharmacy products, and I have um, the Greens Gel Moisturizer. I haven't opened it yet, it's in my moisturizer drawer um, to be going through next, but it might be nice to pair it with this. And this is paraben-free, formaldehyde donor-free, synthetic fragrance-free, phthalate-free, mineral oil-free, and cruelty-free. And these are the ingredients for you. Um, so I do like um, using the pharmacy products that I've tried in the past, so I'm very excited for this. I'm also almost out of um, some of my cleansers, so this is a nice um, addition. So the info on the box is about the same. It says the creamy formula cleans skin without overstripping. It's ideal for combination of oily skin. So again, it's probably good that I got this now because my skin is definitely on the oily side, especially in the summer. Um, so it says how to use. It's just basically... Um, a cleanser, but it says um, may be used as a second cleanse following Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Bowl. Um, so it says here that the skincare formulations are free of artificial coloring, so the color of the product may change over time. Rest assured, this will not affect the um, effectiveness. And then also, it is made exclusively for BoxyCharm. So if you do see this in the store or something, it means somebody tried to scan the system. Basically, I think that's what it means. Um, so let me open this. So this is what it looks like. It's just basically a foaming cleanser. And then let me see here. Again, this also says that it's made for BoxyCharm. And it is sealed in here, so I'm not gonna be able to tell you what it smells like or anything, but I am going to keep it closed just because I am working through a couple of cleansers right now, so I don't wanna open it. Um, but I'm very happy with this so far. I believe this was one of the choice products, so since this is sent to me, I can't customize. But you are able to customize one of the items if you are a paying customer. The next product is from Beauty Bakery. This is the Flower Setting Powder. It's a finely milled oat translucent flower setting powder. Allows you to set your concealer and foundation in place for a long day's wear. This colorless formula puts the oily face battle to rest. It will noticeably blur your pores and soften your complexion, leaving you with a beautiful matte finish. Um, the retail value is $24. Uh, Oh, that's not attractive here. Um, so Beauty Bakery is always like super well-themed, so it looks like a flower bag. Um, and it's the Better Not Bitter Flower. 
on the setting powder, it's 14 grams or 0 0.5 ounces. And let me see what it says back here. Um, again, this is the translucent shade. It's oat. Um, so I think I saw on some of the spoilers they had different shades available, so I don't know if you were able to customize that. Um, so if you were able to customize, leave a comment below and tell me what you thought about it. And this one says to blur, to blur your pores, prevent creasing or transferring indulge in our flower setting powder. It has quickly become a global favorite. So let me open this because actually there's more information on this side. I'm just not able to read it. Um, okay, so this is the tips about how to bake. This is quite cute. Again, they have really good package theming. So it does look like there are quite a few different shades. I don't know if there were multiple shades in the BoxyCharm, but I did get the translucent one, which is oat. But it looks like there's also almond, which is chestnut, cocoa, which is brown, plantain, which is caramel, rice, which is white, and then also cassava, which is yellow. Um, and then let me open this. So this is what the translucent powder looks like. So it is very well themed and it has like a hard plastic in here. And it was made in the United States if you're interested. I don't think I told you where this um, pharmacy one was made. Um, the pharmacy product was also made in the United States if you're keeping track. Um, so very excited to have this actually. So um, I'm almost out of my other powder that I'm using. It's a pressed powder. So it would be nice to have a translucent setting powder. Um, the next product in here is from Generation Skin. It's the Hydrating Marine Algae Eye Patches. Um, so I actually just bought some eye patches from Jejun on YesStyle, so that video is already up. But this is from Generation Skin. I've never heard of this brand, so actually I think I've heard of it in passing. I don't really know anything about it. And this has 30 pairs of the Hydrating Eye Patches. And let me see here. It says marine algae is a straight from the sea skincare savior dense with vitamins, minerals, and proteins and essential fatty acids. When applied to the delicate skin around your eyes, it helps firm, soothe, plump, and brighten like nothing else. Used for a dewier, fresher looking peepers. Um, and this has a $49.99 value. That's very expensive. Um, so the Jejun ones I bought were not $50. I can tell you that much. So it says it's for firming, depuffing, and brightening. I can't read the rest because the packaging is very shiny. Use the enclosed mini spatula to lift and separate a patch. Apply patch to clean dry under eye area. Repeat on the other eye. Wait approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Gently peel off patches. Lightly massage the remaining serum into the skin around the under eye for maximum results. So it's pretty common and this is made in... I'm not sure where this is made in. Made in China. Um, so these are the ingredients here, and it does look like there are quite a few extracts in here, so you definitely might want to take a closer look. There are some things that I'm not entirely sure what they are. There's like go-to cola extract, Japanese, Japanese not weed extract, bicol skullcap root extract. So some of these things um, I might need to look into because I do have some allergies to some different sort of um, plants and things that are not super common. So let me try to open this to show you. Um, so it does look like this box is pretty um, skincare heavy, which I'm not mad about because I do like skincare more than the glam makeup. So last month was a little bit makeup heavy, but this month seems to be more skincare. So this is just like a normal hard plastic. And then let me open this. Um, so it does have the mini um, spatula on top. And then this is what the patches look like. They're like, um, I want to say ocean blue, but that's not a color. Um, but yeah, they're very vibrant blue. And then they kind of have a scent, but it's like, not like a, a fragrance scent. It's kind of more like a chemical scent, but they're very juicy in there, just so you know. So be careful. I almost spilled it everywhere. They're sloshing around in there. So, um, also I would like to say that the, the lid, um, pops on and like it's very secure so make sure that when you do that you make sure that it's secure in there so they don't get dried out um, but I am excited to try this out they're quite wet so I'm a little bit worried about them slipping on my face just because sometimes the patches like this slide around a little bit too much and I like doing things when I'm doing my skincare so this will be nice to have um, so I'm definitely excited to have this I don't know if I would pay $50 for it that's just me being honest with you the next is the ultra Eight in one CBD leave in conditioner. Um, so this actually looks like it came apart in the box. Let me just put the lid back on, it's nothing. 
nothing big there. It's the, it's kind of like, um, it has some space in there and it has like a weird texture if I'm being honest. It looks kind of clumpy and chunky. Um, I don't think it'll be on camera, but it looks a little bit chunky in there. Um, so it says this leave-in conditioner packs eight powerful benefits into one, enhances body and manageability, detangles hair, fights frizz, protects hair from environmental damage, balances moisture, and adds nutrients to refresh hair and add shine. It has a $30 value. So this is um, pretty small um, for $30. It's four fluid ounces or 120 mLs. It's got some dust on it. And it says, let's see here. It's vegan and free of THC, sulfates, parabens, gluten, DMD, MH, phthalates, and cruelty. And it does have coconut oil in here, so if you're allergic, you might want to steer, steer clear. So this is what it looks like, and these are the ingredients. Um, so honestly, it's a little bit confusing to me because I'm not good on hair stuff, but this is what I mean by the texture. It's a little bit dry and kind of clumpy in there. Um, so it says fine three mists, medium five mists, thick seven mists. So I think since I have fine hair, that means three mists. Um, I think that they need a little bit more <laughs> explaining for people like me. And it says use me third on towel dried hair everywhere. Um, protection, oh, enhance body, okay, that's everything that it said. Add shine and reduce stress, apply to towel dried hair everywhere in style. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure. So let me try to spray it into the box. So I had kind of a sputter. It's very scented. It's like super duper scented. Um, so let me try to show you here. So it has like um, a medium mist, I would say, but it's like super duper scented. It smells like very sweet, like um, candy. Like if you melted gummy bears, that's what this smells like to me. Um, so I'll have to consider whether or not I'm going to use it because honestly it's a little bit not my scent. Um, but that again has a $30 value. This is uh, the Brows on Point Micro Pencil and I can really smell that conditioner. It's super strong now. When precision matters, this Brows on Point Micro Brow Pencil will help you get the look you want. The precise brow pencil features a thin tip to cover each and every hair with the color you want and can create hair-like strokes for a natural looking eyebrow. The retail value is $16, which is quite high, um, I think, in my opinion, for an eyebrow pencil. It's in the shade Taupe. Honestly, I think Taupe is a little bit light for my coloring, but we will see. Um, it's 0 0.002 ounces or 0 0.45 grams. It says that it's waterproof on here as well. It's very stuck in here. This is like super duper small, so this is what it looks like. It's very micro, so they weren't lying about that. It does have a spoolie on the end. So that's what the spoolie looks like. And then let me open the other side. So it's like super duper micro. So it's like, I don't even know if you can see that. That's how micro it is. So let me just put it back down. Um, so you know like on pencils, I think that this is like a 1.1 lead. So personally for me, since I'm left-handed, this is going to be a little bit of a trick because the spinner will keep spinning back. So let me just show you here. I'm going to try to use it, but it's a little bit light. Yeah, it's super light for me at least. So it'll give me like auburn shaded eyebrows. So we will see. I'll, I'll continue trying to use it at least. Um, and then again, this one is in the shade taupe. So I don't know if you were able to customize again um, the colors or anything like that. Uh, so to summarize, this was a pretty good mix, I would say, just because of the makeup that was in here for me personally and my lifestyle, I think that it's a very like a neutral kind of basic stuff. So um, for makeup, I got the Beauty Bakery um, Flower Setting Powder in the translucent shade, which was oat, I think. Yeah, it was an oat. Um, I also got the Billion Dollar Brows Taupe Micro Eyebrow Pencil. And then for skincare, I got the Pharmacy Whipped Greens Oil-Free Foaming Cleanser. Very excited about this because I do need a new cleanser. And then the Gen Skin, the Generation Skin Hydrating Marine Algae Eye Patches. $50 is a little bit high, but I will be using them. And then um, finally, this is hair care. This is the Ultra by Use Me 3 in one CBD multi-purpose nutrient mist and styling aid. Um, honestly, I don't know if I'll be using this that much just because it's a very fragrant scent and a very super duper sweet scent, but this is a conditioner product. 
So I think actually, now that I'm going to be thinking about it, I think that the value of the box is pretty high this month just because I did have quite a few um, skincare products and also CBD is I pre think pretty expensive. Retail value, so I'll put the actual price on the screen. I can't do like super duper good math. So in summary, the July 2021 box for me was kind of um, a pretty useful box. It's not super sexy and exciting, but I will use everything in here except for maybe not the conditioner product, but that's just a personal scent preference thing. Um, but yeah, I think everything was pretty good. It didn't really have a good theme. I think it didn't really match the fantasy theme in my opinion, um, but maybe it was just like something that I missed out on because they have a lot of products in the mix there. So I think actually I saw this product that I was super excited to try. It was like a, like a blue pen and it had a four in one and it was like a brow highlighter, an eyebrow pencil, a lip liner, and something else. Eyeliner maybe? It was a 4-in-1 product so I was very excited to try that but I didn't get it this month so leave a comment below if you did get it in your box and what you think about it because that looked super innovative for me and it also looked like a nice product to bring with you on the go if you're traveling which I think is a good thing to put in like a July box but that's just me. Um, so leave a comment below let me know what you thought about my box this month and then also let me know what you got in your box. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!